So this part of the community area is the public path that crosses and goes over to the Shuar. There's first the GPI and Shuar this way. And this is where the water line, so we kind of made little stairs, so I would improve those stairs. And here's the power line, so this is where the big road is going to be. It's going to cross here, and the power lines continues. And then up, once I make these uh, better, but they're already okay when it's dry. But I'll add the logs, uh, well, I'll get the workers, I mean, and up there. The path to the uh, water um, line for the house, and uh, this area is flattened out and it has a great view so if we remove some of these trees and uh, I would purchase the uh, big trees that need to be cut down also this is already a place that uh, is good for camping so I'll just clear some of this I like is it's near the water you can hear the stream so I'd like this area to build a cabin and another benefit is uh, the water line has already a cross here uh, it used to be used for the GPI so that means I can uh, just replace the hose which is cut so it's grassy but you can see there's a T connection and this means I can have a water line and that area will be kind of a cabin what I'm thinking so far is something three by six meter so that way uh, I could potentially make it into two rooms and it could be similar to what the cabins are like at their and uh, and then a kind of little kitchen and outhouse area um, so it would have like a little uh, sink for the dishes simple stuff it's only a few minutes and uh, down below will be a big road uh, eventually we'll have more traffic it already has a bit and there's boats and the highways further out but I think this is a great addition to the uh, community area and uh, yeah, it would be good to have uh, renters or for the time that I want to stay there, I will stay there. So I'm starting the cabin. This is an area I will clear, I'll show in a minute. So here's the public path. It's going to be widened and larger in probably like a year's time or so, maybe less. Power line up there, we got some bananas and uh, Mexican sunflower, a bit of your grass to stop the erosion or slow it down with the very long roots, this row of uh, a bit grass and on this side is all community area ice cream beans and bananas all around let's go have a look so first thing after that the next thing is they will improve the um, Stairs going up. It's a bit higher to be further away from the moisture in the water. First day of work. It's actually going to be a half a day for now. And it's a nice view from up there. Let's get up. I'm going to use some small trees to get a good view. These are the steps that will lead to the seke hardwood that has fallen and uh, doesn't rot uh, as quickly as other wood. And yeah, this will be the steps to the house and this is mess 
exactly the area where we use. And the view and the sounds of the waterfall could not ask for a better location. And now it's a uh, old tent is here. I might camp out if the construction takes the time. A few minutes, well, basically one minute going up, wooden, and for now the rest are just like this. That will be made into wooden steps again, and maybe some of the rocks will last longer than wood, but this is a very strong hardwood, and we'll use some of these to make the steps. And there's the big tree. That will be used to make the house a little cabin. Right next to the jungle and the beautiful view close to the community area which is down there with all the bananas and the river far enough but not too far. It's like a dream come true. Who would have thought? What a beauty. Yeah, it really looks good up here. This area will be a kind of workshop, which will then be a living, uh, or rather the kitchen, and then the living space, the house, probably be in this area, cabin. And then a bit further back is where I'll make a, uh, make a outhouse and a uh, kind of small structure for just compost toilet and yeah and then we can plant more trees more fruit trees bananas and papayas and everything that'll be good in this soil probably flatten this out more and uh, what i love is the proximity to outside areas like the community area and cities, towns, airports, the view, the cleanliness of the nature, the waterfall. So that's the feature cabin, uh, composting toilet and a kitchen and there we've got fruit trees and I'll be doing fruit trees all around just far enough not to matter. Where's the water? bit of destruction to do some construction still some big trees might have to take more so in case they get big don't want them to fall on the house so got the wood cut into the beams vigas in Spanish and a nice little shelter as a starting point and then we'll have a metal roof soon for the workshop it's going to be here and there's uh, nice rocks a good view and the workshop will become the kitchen after we're done with the constructing the cabin. So yeah, beautiful wooden cabin. Coming soon. And I'll use the ends probably as like half walls. Like the pond hut in the community area. Great, great stuff here. And a lot of wood shavings. I'll collect those. It's good for mixing with compost the nitrogen 
mixing with the carbon to help break it down faster and that's a beautiful thing permaculture get some wood it's ready and this is how they cut it collecting the sawdust already have some here it's good so I can use it here's the wood that I got so far and there's some more wood that could be fetched so yeah This one here fetched this wood and cleaned it up. And this space here. So we got the bracing for the posts. Now we'll be putting the upper part. And we got the structure going. Now we'll be planting vetiver grass all along the edge to maintain the soil from eroding. <laughs> Here's to the vista. Almost done with the kitchen. So, here's the progress and we'll continue on Monday. Good work so far and uh, looking forward to completion of the first structure which is my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen, Petri kitchen. Still lots of work to be done. And, uh, it's already good. I'll probably put up a hammock and relax once it's ready. Lots of wood, lots of stress with the fallen tree. And there's a line of vetiver grass, hold the erosion down. Right. So, a couple days of work. It took a few weeks to get it done. Finally, good weather for working, but it's always great here. And here it is. And here is the structure. Pretty nice. This is the kitchen feature kitchen for now. We'll be using it as a storage and workshop and uh, cabin will probably go here, a little outhouse type thing there. So yeah, for now we got some bracing and stuff we'll remove that and we'll see. We'll see where this leads us. We'll do more planting along the side here and yeah maybe make 
uh, contour lines and that would be awesome. Hang a hammock up in here on this countertop or table, various things. Very nice. So far I'm happy. That's it. For now, finally found a way to complete the video. Because I kind of did bits and pieces and so yeah, this is step one. Kitchen, workshop and or maybe even feature camping site, whatever, earth floor. Just basic. We'll have a sink definitely and stuff so we'll see how it goes. And then uh, the cabin will be back there. Just about two times the the length, but only same width basically. Or, you know, so not that much bigger, but it will be taller, and because of the extra wood that will be needed, because I want actually a wooden floor and a half wall. So just nice one meter height, and yeah. And there's some privacy until things grow back. And there's a lot of stuff that's cut down to clear the way and be grown back. See you in the next video.